Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. Today we're going to be talking about electric pianos, and specifically the Nord Stage 4 electric pianos versus the ones on the Yamaha YC series. We're just going to have a little fun playing these sounds, and I've done this with both the grand pianos and the upright pianos between these two boards because if you're looking to get a stage piano or you're just curious, how does the Nord Stage 4 stack up from a sound perspective to the Yamaha YC? They both have phenomenal sounds. Yamaha and Nord, both great producers of sounds. So for me, it's fun just to kind of see the comparison of sounds, take you along with me. Let's jump right into it. And the first sound that we're going to look at here on both of these is the first electric piano sound in each respective section. So EP1 Deep Timbre on the Nord Stage 4 and the 78 Rhodes. Now, there's not going to be kind of exact similarities between these two in terms of sounds. So we're going to kind of just mess around with these different sounds. If we find ones that are very similar, we'll kind of play them so you can see the difference between the two keyboards. But let's start off first with the 78 Rhodes on the Yamaha YC. <laughs> And then the EP1 Deep Timbre on the Nord Stage 4. Some differences there. These aren't the exact same electric piano that's being sampled here, but those are kind of the, the first ones that Nord and Yamaha throw as the first electric piano sound. So down here on the Yamaha YC, we can use the selector to flip through the electric pianos in our electric piano section of the keys portion of this keyboard. We have the 75 Rhodes Funky. And then on the Nord Stage 4, we have the EP2 Ideal Timbre. We've also got the EP3 Shallow Close. We've got the 73 Road on the Yamaha. EP4 Mark 580s. Sixty seven roads dark. 
on the Yamaha. sound. Come over, we've got the EP5 Bright Tines. Got the 67 roads bright on this. And then we have the Sparkle Top EP6. Down on the Yamaha, we have a 73 road studio. Yamaha has done a really good job of putting kind of some of those noises, the hammer noises and mechanical noises into the sounds. The Nord does as well on some of these. Some of them are a bit warmer. So for example, if I just go back to like the EP1 Deep Timbre, it's a bit hard to hear, but if I bring the bright timbre in, can brighten it up. We can even switch into a couple of our dynamic ones. And then the normal. So, you know, we're able to kind of tweak the timbre where it's set a bit more. We have this tone knob here, which I won't mess with on the Yamaha right now, but you can do some of those similar tweaks, um, but it's a kind of a combination of effects or tweaks that it does when you twist the tone knob. So I'll talk more about that in a future video in terms of kind of customizing the key section here. Let's flip through a few more sounds. Let me get back to where we were. We hit Sparkle Top. Now we're on EP7 Amped Tines on the Nord. Almost have a little bit of an amp distortion in that. It's kind of cool. We've got the 74 Road Stage next on the Yamaha. Again, these, I'm just kind of going in order of these electric piano sounds on here. They're not a perfect match, uh, but it at least gives you an idea of the electric piano sounds that you get with the Nord Stage 4 and the Yamaha. Yeah, kind of a different sound there, but let me just play the 74 Road Stage for you.
Next, we've got the EP8 uh, Nefertiti. I don't know how to say that second word there. Uh, this one sounds, it's a pretty warm. Can bring the timbre in. Down here, we're into the Wurlitzer. So let's just flip to the Wurlitzer here on the Nord Stage 4, and we'll play that for you since we're up here on the Nord Stage 4. Again, similar to the piano sounds, I feel like the Yamaha has just a little bit more bite, which you might be able to compensate with some EQ and stuff, but it's nice in terms of uh, kind of cutting through the mix, sometimes having a bit more um, bite to the sound. Sounds good unless you're trying to get that soft effect, and then it can kind of be a pain because you want the warmer, softer sound. So, seems to be kind of a common theme. The Nord tends to be a little warmer to my ears than the Yamaha. Check out the Wurlitzer Warm on the Yamaha. Wurlitzer one on the Nord. We've got Wurlitzer 2 and we have Wurlitzer Bright on the Yamaha. Hard to tell, there's not really an exact matchup between these two sounds. Now on the Yamaha YC, we also have a wide version of the Wurlitzer where we only have the two on the Nord Stage 4. So this is the wide on the Yamaha YC. Now on the Yamaha YC, we can keep scrolling through the electric pianos. They've got the harpsichord, clavs, things like that in there. We have different sections here on the Nord stage. So I've just gone through the electric section. If we flip over to the clavs, we've got a few clavs in here. Down on the Yamaha YC, we have a couple of clavs here.
Now we've got the S. We've got uh, clav C B here. Then we get into the I feel like the Yamaha has more bite to it again, um, but could be my volume difference here. Feels kind of small on the Nord. And then we get into digital pianos on the Yamaha, whereas on the Nord we have a lute version of the harpsichord. Then we've got the French. Then we get into the digital pianos here. DX Rubitines here. down we've got DX Road and we've got a couple of digigrands here And then we've got a ballad EP. Now on the Yamaha, because of the FM uh, functionality within here, we've got a bunch of these FM sounds. That brings us to the end of the electric piano section on the Yamaha. We've got this miscellaneous section here with some other sounds that'll cover in a different video, just some. And there's an other section on the Yamaha YC that kind of covers uh, those types of sounds. So we'll do a bit of comparison between kind of the samples in this because there's some cool things like saxophone and trumpet that sound amazing in the Yamaha and pretty good in the Nord. 
So I'll be doing videos on those as well. So the last thing that I wanted to compare, and I'll do this in the next video, is the organ sections. Because I mean, look at these, the draw bars on here, the full organ sections, it deserves a comparison video of its own. But if you have any questions on the electric pianos, I know this is kind of admittedly not an exact like for like comparison between the sounds, but I wanted to give kind of an idea of the sounds that are on the Nord Stage 4 compared to the electric piano sounds on the Yamaha and show you what you get with both of these keyboards. I think they're both great. I'll be honest, the Yamaha kind of cut through a little bit more, had a little bit more that grabbed me in, but I am a sucker for some warm electric pianos and you can really get those well. On the Nord with a little tweaking, you can bring in those brights. And so in either case, they're gonna do the job. They both have really amazing sounds. It comes down to personal preference when you get into keyboards of this caliber. And for me, when it comes to the electric pianos, I prefer the key bed of the Nord Stage 488 a little bit more for playing those EPs. And the sounds themselves, I love the warmer aspect. So for me, it's the Nord, but the Yamaha has some really great electric pianos in there as well. I like a little bit more of the presence of the some of the mechanical noises that they put in there. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Yamaha, Nord, both amazing. Uh, but what's your preference in terms of electric piano sounds? Throw those down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music. Mm -hmm.